Good morning. Here's our group in the morning having breakfast. Great places, Ron Beach. Hello, Steve Ray here, I'm the intrepid Smith. leader of this group, Footprints of God Pilgrimages Through the Holy Land for the Year of Mercy. This is Father Scott Courtney. We love it when Father Scott comes along because he's a lot of fun, very reverent, and a good priest. People love you. We're getting on the bus now to head to the Mount of Beatitudes for Mass. Uh, we hope you can join us on one of these trips sometime. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. we say together, Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, in the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair or become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will. to teach them alleluia in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. the grace and peace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all After Beatitudes, we went to Tabga. This is the place along the Sea of Galilee where Jesus multiplied the loaves and fish. This is the church. We uh, learned about it outside. Amr gave a full description of the place, and then we went inside to see the church. So after the explanation outside, here's our group coming into the church of Tabga, the multiplication of loaves. We we're seeing the place where the, this church was burned by some crazy Jews, opposing uh, Christianity being here, but uh, they didn't burn the church down, it's still here. And we still get to come in here and pray and see the mosaic and the place where Jesus multiplied the loaves and fish. I'll show you that right now.
are now standing up in the Golan Heights and we're looking out over Mount Hermon there, which is snow covered, unbelievably clear today. The northern tip of Israel, also part of Syria and Lebanon on that side. And we're looking out over Kunetra, Syria right now. That's where a lot of the ISIS and Nusra front was. And even a couple of months ago when we stopped here, we could hear the bombs going off over there and the machine gun fire. And it's inspired all of our groups to stop and pray the divine mercy for our brothers and sisters in Christ. It's perfectly safe for us to be here, but I just wanted our group to see and the reality of what's going on over there. And unfortunately, our country's on the wrong side of the battle and uh, not doing what we can to support our local brothers and sisters in Christ over there. Stopping for a time of prayer to pray for our brothers and sisters over there persecuted in Syria. My favorite things to do on a pilgrimage is bring people to Caesarea Philippi. There goes the goat yogurt. Today and give my 30 minute talk. Goat yogurt Peter, first goes on the bread. The chair, and a little olive oil. The and then the Zata herb. Jesus brought then it's wrapped up tight. All the way up here and to put on the grill. Simon to get warm. Rock. This huge rock, which right, was a pagan of site of worship, had a cave Here's in it as everyone's chef. looking into it now. And at the time we've of Christ, it was a bottomless Janet, pit full of water. Bank, People would walk through this temple that you see from the time of Christ and throw living and sacrifices into the water. It's a great place to bring our group, and there's a lot we can learn about Jesus, the ancient times, and the, and the church. What do you think of the Drew's bread? It's wonderful. It's good, isn't it? It's different. <laughs> This is the water, headwaters of the Jordan River that flow out from underneath this rock at Caesarea Philippi, where Jesus said, you are rocking on this rock, I'll build my church. And the gates of hell right there will not prevail against it.
after leaving the Golan Heights and Banyas, we went to Khorazim, and there we stopped at the city, went into the old ancient synagogue, and there's the chair of Moses. That came all the way uh, biblically from Matthew 23. I was explaining it and how it evolved into the chair of Peter. And then I, after giving that talk, Amr gave more descriptions of the site and the synagogue there at Korzim, and then I got my picture of uh, sitting in the chair of Moses, and Father did as well. Our next stop was at the primacy of Peter Church along the Sea of Galilee. This is the beautiful walk down to the church and the shore. Here I gave my talk on John 21 and Peter and how he denied Jesus three times in front of a charcoal fire, but how he was redeemed by Jesus later by three questions in front of a charcoal fire. Look at my talk that I gave late earlier today. This is the church of the primacy of Peter built over this stone, this rock where Jesus fed the disciples in John chapter 21. All of our group loves going down here to the shore, uh, putting their feet in the water on the Sea of Galilee, right where Jesus was. Here's Quinn. He's a great young man along with Father and I and another picture of Father with a group. And then we took off in the bus. Here's our bus driver, Assam and Amr, both Roman Catholics. the Sea of Galilee. Hi, just wanted to say that I'm doing fine and joining my trip. I'm saying hi to all the Sheen and Minia families and all my friends from Montana and Minnesota. God loves you. Thank you. Everyone said it was a great day. How can we top this? But we're back at our hotel at the Ron Beach and we're going to bed early, looking out over the Sea of Galilee and ready for another great day tomorrow, heading up to Jerusalem.